Oh, uh, this is the practice problem number two for lessons two and three. So, uh, there's, uh, if you wanted more practice problems and you haven't seen the other one, uh, go to that. Uh, but if not, let's, uh, let's, uh, give you a problem. I want you to find the pressure, temperature, specific volume, internal energy, and X of water at five uh, sorry fifty degrees Celsius and a quality of point eight. So this is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, we are given a quality, so right off the bat we know it is a it is saturated. It's a saturated vapor here. So we're going to open up the... Uh, oh, yeah, and if you want to do this problem, I pause it now before I get any, uh, any further. Uh, and try and do it on your own. But uh, for now, we have... Uh, we're going to go to the saturated H2O table. So we uh, so the pressure is going to be given to us that is right next to the temperature. The pressure is going to be twelve point three five kilopascals. Now its specific volume and internal energy are going to be a little harder. To do, we're going to have to use the quality to solve for those two. So we can look up the V sub F and the V sub G. V sub F equals point zero zero one zero one two, and V sub G equals 12.0308 and the specific volume of a substance equals the quality times V sub G plus 1 minus the quality times V sub F. So it's going to be 0.8 times 12.03 plus 0 0.2 times 0 0.00101 2 sorry there's a 2 there and I just uh, took four significant figures for that I think that is more than enough so the specific volume here sorry I did not prepare the the values of this problem ahead of time so This equals 9.624 meters cubed per kilogram. And then we can do the same thing with internal energy as we did with specific volume. U sub F is 209. Point three, and U sub G is 2443.47 so the U what we're looking for is going to be 0 0.8 because that is the quality times uh, 
plus 0.2 times 209.3, which equals 1,996.6 kilojoules per kilogram. So, And that is practice problem number two. Good luck with the rest of thermodynamics.